In 2004, Arsenal completed a sensational unbeaten season as they won the Premier League, a feat that has never been matched in the English top flight since. Their final game of the season was a 2-1 win over Leicester City, so let's look at who started for Arsenal that day and where they are now. In goal was Jens Lehmann. This was the Germans' first season in North London, arriving from Borussia Dortmund to replace David Seaman, who had headed to Man City way back when they weren't very good. Lehmann played in all 38 Premier League games in his first season and would spend five seasons at Highbury and then the Emirates. Lehmann would then return to Germany with Stuttgart where he retired, before a brief comeback with Arsenal where he would make just one Premier League appearance due to a goalkeeping crisis, retiring again in 2011. As well as goalkeeping, Lehmann has also dabbled with acting, playing the role of a football coach in Themba. How original. At right back was Lauren. The Cameroon international spent six seasons at Arsenal before joining Portsmouth in 2006, where he won an FA Cup to go with the 3-1 at Arsenal. In March 2010, Lauren joined Spanish side Cordoba, retiring at the end of the season. Centre-back was Saul Campbell. Like Lauren, Campbell would join Portsmouth in 2006, in a move that was a lot less controversial than his last one. The England international left Fratton Park in 2009, later suing the club for unpaid image rights and bonus payments. Strangely, Campbell would drop down to League 2 and sign a five-year deal with Notts County, but walked out on the club just three days after making his debut. The defender would briefly return to Arsenal and then turn down a move to Celtic in favour of joining Newcastle. Since retirement, Campbell has got involved with politics, favouring Brexit and failing to run for Mayor of London in 2016. In January 2017, Campbell became Trinidad and Tobago assistant manager. He was alongside Colo Toure. Having wiped out Dennis Bergkamp, Thierry Henry and Arsene Wenger during his trial, Colo Toure had seven seasons at Arsenal before joining Man City in 2009, where they were beginning to get good. The Ivory Coast defender won a Premier League at the Etihad before heading to Liverpool on a free transfer, where he became more of a meme than a footballer. Last summer, Toure was reunited with Brendan Rodgers, making 16 appearances for the Hoops as they complete a remarkable invincible season, the second of Toure's career. At left back was Ashley Cole. Better known as Cashley to Arsenal fans, the fullback began his career with the Gunners by joining as a youngster in the early 90s, but dragged his reputation through the mud by joining rivals Chelsea in 2006, after he had been left trembling with anger after Arsenal had only offered him £55,000 a week. Let's all take a moment's silence to acknowledge Ashley's struggle. Moving on, he has since married and divorced Geordie Queen Cheryl, joined Roma where he clearly didn't fit in and is now in the MLS with LA Galaxy at the age of 36. In midfield it's Freddie Youngberg. The eccentric haired underwear model won two Premier League medals with Arsenal, leaving in 2007 to join West Ham in what was a rather unsuccessful move. The Swede then headed to America to play for Seattle Sounders and then Chicago Fire before returning to the UK to spend six months with Celtic. Following his move to Glasgow, Jungberg would head east and join Shimizu S Pulse in Japan, retiring in 2012. The winger would come out of retirement in 2014 and join Mumbai City FC, but injury would limit him to just four appearances. Nowadays, Jungberg has moved into coaching, working as an assistant manager at Wolfsburg. In the middle was Patrick Vieira. The Frenchman netted the winner against Leicester and then lifted the Premier League trophy at the end of an incredible season for Arsenal but his Gunners career ended in 2005 when he joined Juventus. Following the match-fixing scandal, Vieira would leave Turin and join Inter Milan, before returning to England in 2010 with Manchester City. The midfielder has now moved into management as the head coach of New York City, who are third in the Eastern Conference. He was alongside Gilberto Silva. The Brazilian was unknown when he joined Arsenal in 2002, but left as one of the finest holding midfielders in the country, forming a solid base with Patrick Vieira, one which Arsenal simply haven't replaced. Gilberto joined Panathinaikos in 2008 and then returned to Brazil in 2011 with Grêmio and then Atletico Mineiro. Now retired, Gilberto is pursuing a career as an international consultant for clubs and players and also has an anteater named after him at London Zoo. Next up it's Robert Perez. The French midfielder scored 14 goals during the Invincible season, making him Arsenal's second highest goal scorer behind Thierry Henry. Perez joined Villarreal in 2006, working under former Man City boss Manuel Pellegrini. The playmaker returned to the Premier League with Aston Villa in 2010, and then just like Freddie Youngberg, Perez headed to the Indian Super League in 2014, 
joining FC Goa before retiring in February 2016 and taking up a coaching role at Arsenal, which he now appears to have left. Up top that day was Dennis Bergkamp. The non-flying Dutchman spent over a decade at Arsenal, retiring in 2006. Despite initially stating he had no interest in coaching and turning down a scouting job with the Gunners, Bergkamp changed his mind in 2008 and began his coaching diploma, beginning a trainee role at Ajax and then becoming Netherlands B team assistant boss before returning to Ajax to coach. And finally it's Thierry Henry. Mr Vavavoom scored 30 league goals as Arsenal went a full season without defeat. He would become Arsenal captain when Patrick Vieira departed but left himself in 2007 to join Barcelona. Following his time in La Liga, which included 7 trophies, Henry headed to the MLS to join New York Red Bulls, forming an unlikely partnership with Bradley Wright Phillips. Arsenal's record goal scorer returned for a loan spell in 2012 scoring his final Gunners goal in a 2-1 win over Sunderland. Nowadays, Henri spends his time working as a pundit for Sky Sports to get the ladies watching, as well as being Roberto Martinez's assistant with Belgium. So that's where Arsenal's Invincibles are now. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.